Hey, what's happening everyone on YouTube? All my subscribers, I hope you're having a great day. I'm a little bummed out right now, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this is my uh, Goldenback Yellow Neo Caradina. And I'm going to explain to you what's happening right now. Now, she is buried. I saw her this morning, and she was getting ready to give birth. Um, but she literally just fell over. She's not dead. Um, I'm going to explain to you what's happening. Um, I did a water change, and I know to do really small water changes, but she was still somehow affected. So let me explain to you what happens whenever you're doing a water change and you have a shrimp that's about to molt because uh, pregnant shrimp, they molt right before they're about to give birth. Now what happens is, is if you do a water change, and when you do that water change, if it lowers the general hardness by too much, what happens is, is it makes their exoskeleton too malleable, and they can't get it off. And then through stress, they just die in it. Now if you do a water change, and you've remineralized it, and you made the water slightly too hard than it was before, then it makes their exoskeleton too rigid and they can't crack it to get out. So what they do is they just fall over and are just desperately hoping that they can slip out. And this can take a long time. I'm hoping she'll come out of this and the new water I put in here, uh, she'll uh, uh, adjust and eventually get out because she is loaded with, if she's fully buried, she has like 50 eggs in there. And, you know, all, all I can do is hope for the best right now. I'm not going to pull her out yet because she is pregnant and I don't want to lose all these babies. But if, you know, by the end of the day or by tomorrow, I see that she's still sitting here, then I know that she's passed. You can kind of see her vaguely you know or you know slightly moving she's desperately wanting out of her shell and i did something wrong during a water change that's why it's really important if you're keeping shrimp you got to keep your water changes very very small and keep up with your uh parameters you you know don't wait until they get your tds is raised so high that you're forced to swap out five gallons of water you know, um, uh, very small, very small water changes infrequently, or this is a result. And it's much more difficult for them during the molting process when they're pregnant that you, you have to have a stable environment. And this is just for educational purposes. She, she is not dead. I, I, I literally just watched her fall over while she was trying to crack her shell. We're going to hope for the best, but it's not looking good right now. So we will, we will wait and see, but I, I, I hope you learn something from this. I learn new things all the time when it comes with shrimp and how delicate they can be, uh, especially caradinas and neocaradinas and you know, I was just trying to put some fresh water in here and it changed the TDS very small by, by like maybe 10 parts per million. And boom, she fell over. Anyway, let's hope for the best. I'll, I'll, I'll update later and say what happened to her, but I'm going to keep a sharp eye on her for like 24 hours and... I hate to see animals go, you know, uh, yes, for s some of you, it's just a shrimp, but it's not about that. What it's about is that, you know, it's under my care and it's dependent on me to take care of it appropriately. And when something loses its life because you did something wrong, that that's that's where the hard part comes in. You know, it's not, it's not like I'm, you know, losing a relative or whatever, but this is an animal that depended on me and I made one small mistake and she could die like this. 
And if she dies like this, all the babies are going to go with her. And it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. I'm cutting this video short. Uh, I, I'm a little upset. Um, and I'm just going to sit here staring at her. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Uh, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I only tape this for educational reasons to, to tell you why, you know, why a pregnant uh, Neo Caradina would just simply fall over all of a sudden like this. I knew I knew I shouldn't have tampered with the water today. I should have waited until she molted and did this tomorrow. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching.